Hello everybody. Thanks for uh, stopping by the shop for another Screwy Tuesday. As uh, you can see, there's my mill in the background, and uh, it has the, you know, the handle that uh, you can adjust the quill with. Well, wheel or no wheel? That's what this uh, segment is about. As uh, you've been watching uh, the different channels, uh, Tom Lipton uh, put a wheel off a tractor, I think, on his mill. Um, Pierre, not Pierre, Phil, at Phil's Projects, uh, recently added a wheel on his uh, unit. Uh, Andrew Padaka, uh, we talked, he's got a small wheel on his unit. Uh, I even noticed Randy Richard uh, in a video, he hasn't talked about it, but he has a, uh, a wheel on his. Uh, and then recently, uh, Keith Fenner, uh, showed uh, adding uh, a wheel to Buffy. Um, the same fella that contacted uh, Keith uh, regarding adding a wheel on his mill also contacted me and that's what got me started on this uh, whole wheel or no wheel. Now I have to be honest after uh, lots of discussions with Jim and then uh, some discussions with Keith um, I was pretty much against putting a wheel on my mill. Uh, the other day I was doing some work where uh, I think I showed it the, uh, the angle block for the uh, bender where I was uh, doing multiple operations and had to keep adjusting the handle. And I thought, well, you know, maybe a wheel's a way to go. Yeah, wheel or no wheel. So. I decided to head in that direction and uh, we'll, uh, here's a picture of the wheel that I purchased. And we're uh, back from that picture. Uh, again, uh, it's a 14 inch diameter, it's basically a little bit less than the diameter of the handle here. Uh, it's aluminum. And uh, part of the reason I selected that unit uh, was actually after a discussion with uh, Keith uh, about making sure a wheel had finger grips on the inside. He's, he's designing a wheel for Buffy, and uh, we chatted about that. And as you can see, the wheel that I purchased, uh, since it's drilled on all four surfaces, it's got grip in uh, all, four, all four sides when you grab onto it. So, well, let's... Uh, Let's get the unit mounted, and then uh, we'll talk about my, uh, my wheel and uh, my decisions on what I decided to do. Well, here's my wheel mounted, looking at it face on. And uh, you notice I've done something that uh, nobody else has done. Yeah, maybe that's why it's a screwy Tuesday. Um, I've decided to leave my handle on my unit. Part of the reason that I decided to do this uh, was I really couldn't make up my mind if I wanted the wheel or not. Um, and if you, depending upon your attachment of how you put your wheel on, uh, you may need an Allen wrench to take it off, you may need a screwdriver, you may need any kind of variety of tools to take the wheel off. Then you would need another tool to put your handle back on. There may be times where this wheel might be uh, an obstruction, depending upon what's on the table. And like I said, I just uh, was uh, couldn't make up my mind. So I made it really simple. The wheel pulls right off. So the wheel pulls off, and the wheel puts, goes right on. And as you can see, the hub here is what drives on the lever. So I kind of have the best of both worlds here for right now. May stay with it, may not. Um, but uh, I'm really kind of happy with the uh, build that I did here. Um, I also uh, added some other features to this that uh, really nobody has. And uh, let me relocate the camera and uh, I'll show you those features. Okay, well, let me show you my features that I've added. 
One is, uh, you notice I don't have a center uh, hub of some sort. I've got a button. Well, I hooked up this button for features on my mill here. So, right now my lights are on on my mill here. You can see my, my, my unit right here. And I can control it here, can turn it off and on. But if I touch my button, touch it once, shuts the lights off. If I touch it uh, again once, turns it back on. Not bad, huh? And if I, let's see, let me put on my uh, phase converter here. This is the real trick one. If I touch it twice, turns my mill on, touch it twice, it shuts my mill off. Pretty sweet, huh? Let me turn back on my light here. And I've added another feature. <laughs> uh, I really went, really went wild on this one. Can actually make a phone call from my mill. Let's uh, let's give it a try. That's uh, that takes uh, three taps. One, two, three, and let's see. Uh, <laughs> That's my own phone. Let me, uh, I didn't mean to dial myself. One, two, three, shut that off. Whew. Okay, let's try it again. One, two, three. Now I got some ringing, not my phone. Uh, let's see, I'm not calling myself. Hello? 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 Chuck, buddy, is that you? I'm having trouble. Wait a minute. Are you calling me from your mill? Chuck, Chuck, can you hear me? Take me off your mill speed dial or I'm calling the cops. Oh boy. Well, I guess I better never make that phone call again. Better hang up. One, two, three. Oh boy. Well, let me uh, reset the camera here. All right. Well, as I said, it's uh, real simple to get the wheel off and on on this guy. There it goes. So, uh, hope you enjoyed. Swing the camera over. Hope you enjoy my uh, wheel or no wheel. I think it's going to be a great uh, addition to my mill. Uh, once I make a decision if it's staying or not, or it just always may be a uh, option. Um, going to have to... Uh, Work out a nice uh, quick disconnect for my wiring, though. Hey, take care, guys. Thanks for stopping by the channel. And subscribe if you enjoyed.